when we're starting. So we're talking about Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I have never seen or read the book or anything of Pride and Prejudice. I haven't read the book of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I was just curious. I wanted to see. I wanted to see how they integrated these stories. Like I don't know Pride and Prejudice, but I know what it's about. You know, um, basically, I knew. I didn't know the exacts of it, but I knew that there was you know, like it was a romance story. Anywho, this, this movie is it's okay. It's it's very all right. They did. I think they did a decent job of adding zombies in there and staying true to the original source material. My mom's a huge fan of Jane Austen and Pride and Prejudice, and she said that it's pretty faithful to the original story, other than the zombies, obviously. But, I don't know, a little bit of respect for that. And honestly, I feel like at the beginning, I was super into this. Like when it started, I was like, oh yeah, this is cool, this is awesome. Uh, they're really handling this well. It's the story is written well into it. They explain how the zombies happen. That it's a plague. That everyone's infected by this plague, and that's what gives them, makes them zombies. Um, and one thing that I didn't really like, but I kind of get, so I'm not that mad about, is what they did with <laughs> past. That's fair. Not enough robots. But what I didn't really like, but I get what why they did it is how they had how they did the zombies which is they have them be able to sort of talk and act like normal people and stuff and i get it to make the story work and there's obviously still plenty of scenes of action and fighting zombies they had to you know they had to make the name they had to make it worthy of the name right uh like chopping mall yeah <laughs> chopping mall i've reviewed that one before that review is on uh, YouTube. What year is this movie? Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Let's do a Wikipedia. I hope that Wikipedia works today. Last time I did reviews, it was not working for me. So, oh god, why does it not? I should have figured this out. Um, reload. Maybe I can, I'll look up the IMDb. Let's look up Pride and Prejudice. IMDb. I don't know why. It's saying that it's like not a secure site. I don't think that's true. But whatever. I gotta figure that out later. And I did that before. I don't know why. It won't let me go to Wikipedia. And Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. IMDb. It'll at least tell me the year. If it lets me go there. Oh yes it does. Okay. 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb. That's decent. Higher than Pootie Tang. I would not agree, obviously. People that know me, I really like Pootie Tang. So when I see an IMDb rating, I, always, I obviously go straight to comparing it to Pootie Tang. Um, and if you don't like Pootie Tang, that's okay. Uh, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. The year. This is, it takes place in the 19th century, but the movie, why is it not telling me? 2016. Okay, that makes sense. 2016, I remember hearing about this quite a long time ago when it came out ish, I think. You like booty thing? Gasp, I know, it's crazy, hey? There was literally no chopping in Chopping Mall. That's a good point, Speedy. We're totally gonna be talking about booty thing. Uh, 2016, yes. That is the year of this movie, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And yeah, like I said, and they explain that too, with, with, with the zombies being able to talk and do cognitive things like shoot guns and stuff. They sort of explain it um, by having them not eat brains. If you eat human brains, then you become more mindless, a more mindless zombie. But if you eat just pig brains, then you're okay. You're like a normal person pretty much still. You're just undead. Um, and honestly, again, I don't know the original story, so it's hard to compare. Like, I don't really know, like, uh, what, maybe there's some things that are replacing other things, like, like, the war is on a, a different group of people instead of zombies. Like, is there a war at all in the other Pride and Prejudice? I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, I feel like there is maybe, but I don't know. Uh, again, I'm just going by what I'm seeing, and they intrig 
I got. I'm not gonna lie. The other part, I would not be able to watch just Pride and Prejudice. I I need the zombies. The zombies that got me through this movie. It wasn't great. The novelty probably wore off close to the beginning of it, but uh, it was okay, and it was still pretty fun. Um, but and it was well done for the most part. The acting. Let's see if it can tell me who's in it. Stars Lily James, Sam Riley, Jack Houston. I don't know any of these people, but they're probably in stuff. Uh, I know that in the original film, Pride and Prejudice, that uh, Colin Firth played Mr. Darcy. That's not the case. But I should talk about the basic plot, I guess. So, obviously, there's uh, I've talked about the zombie element because that's the most interesting element to me. But there's also uh, love and stuff and you know it's, it's 19th century so you know women only seem to be their only use is you gotta get married and have babies or, or it seems but in this to be fair to this movie's credit they, they add in the but you also have to learn how to fight zombies everyone has to learn how to fight zombies so they, we have these strong female characters in a way but in this you know 19th century britain that's sort of suppressing women and, or oppressing so suppressing oppressing oppressing women anyway <laughs> i'm having fun with words civil war i think okay that sounds about right yeah that sounds right stevie uh but yeah no this movie is is it's okay um and it and i guess i kind of get why the romance story is like personally for me to like a romantic film, it needs something else. It needs comedy. I like rom-coms. I like music and lyrics. I like, I like a lot of rom-coms. 13 going on 30. Fun rom-com. Anyway, I need, but it has comedy to propel the romance. And this has zombies. But if there was no zombies, it would be kind of boring, I think. Um, but I get... Like, if you're into the drama of 19th century Britain and all that thing, then I get it. I do. But, yeah. This is this was just okay for me. Uh, but, yeah, the zombie part is fun. Hugh, you watched this with Mom. Uh, and you would always say that this was the perfect movie for you because it has zombies for you. And for Mom, it has Jane Austen. Um, not respecting the women. Yeah, exactly. They, they certainly were not. Uh, there's lots of lines like that, like, well, you gotta get, get married or whatever, and you know, you, and calling them, calling women unadmirable or something like that, just being offensive. Anyway, we're moving on. That's obvious. It's in, it's set in the 19th century, so there's gonna be shit like that. Um, you know, it's realistic, or to what I know of that century. American pumpkin pie again. What? <laughs> American Pie, also known as Pie That You Fuck, because that, that's, uh, that's what happens in that movie, right? American Pie. It should be called The Guy Who Fucked a Pie. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off the topic, but Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is just okay. I honestly don't have much else to say about it. It's fine. If you want to watch it, it's on Amazon Prime. Uh... Again, Colin Firth is not in it, but he played Mr. Darcy. Uh, I would have liked him to just be in it, even though I don't know the original Pride and Prejudice. I know he's in it, and I know that was a big part of, like, my mom and my auntie would always talk about how sexy Colin Firth is in those movies. So I was like, you know, bring him back. Bring him back for the ladies. But anyway, this guy was okay looking too, I guess. I'm no expert, but, you know, anyway. Fuck a pool, a pie cumber. <laughs> Rightio. Uh, I guess we're gonna move on to the serious review soon, the, the closer, and I'll bring Stevie in here. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna rate this. I don't have anything else to say other than it was okay. The, the use of zombies was fun, but I did find myself getting bored for a lot of the other parts. <laughs> That's as simple as I can put it, but it's truthful. Uh, so yeah. Oh, did someone subscribe? Did I miss a subscribe? 
It looks because my subs went up, but when did that? It doesn't say anyone's up, but I got another subscriber. I'm confused. Anyway, if you subscribe to me, thank you. Uh, I am going to. Pro and prejudice and zombies. Wait, we have to rate it first. Duh. Okay, yeah, it was. It's okay. I'm gonna give it straight up seven. For people that don't know my rating system, you might think that's way higher than I would have thought. Seven to me is okay. So it's okay. If you get a five, that's not very good. But I didn't. If I really hate it, you get below five. You know. You know, I, I very rarely give movies below five. One of the movies that I gave, the only movie that I gave a one or a zero was Godzilla 2014. We're not getting into that though, but I really didn't like Godzilla 2014, even though people liked it generally. Anyway, we're not, we're not getting into that now. Seven out of 10 for Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Here's another beat. Oh, this is from Patrick Jenkins too. Yeah. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, 7 out of 10. Like I said, it was all right. Not great, but it was okay. It was kind of fun. It's on Amazon Prime. If you want to watch it, check it out. Or don't. Do what, do what you want, you know?